In this tutorial exercise, we're going to optimize the design of this step comb pulley. Now, this is our input shaft where we have the power transmitted to this shaft, and we want to transmit it over to this one. And we can adjust a couple things like the width of each of those, and uh, we can also adjust the diameter of each of these as well. Now the qualification here is that this belt right here, um, you can't change the size of that belt. So this can go down to the lower step, for example, or a lower step down here, and it's gonna have the same size of belt. Now, there's a couple constraints and other things. We need to transmit uh, 0.65 horsepower and we also have this distance right here. That one is going to be um, a total of 1.67 feet. So some of these are just known specifications where we need to have these things located uh, for transmitting the power. Now we have the pulley. We're going to choose aluminum for this. And there's a couple properties like the density and we'll give those in, in the problem description as we do work on the optimization problem. But the belt is going to be polyamide uh, A2, and it has a thickness of 0 0.11 inches. And a maximum stress, okay, the maximum stress is going to be important for our, our constraint. That is going to be 75,000 uh, pounds force per feet squared. Okay, so imperial units there. Um, we also have the coefficient of friction, and that's going to be mu equals 0 0.8. And the tension on the tight side of the belt, okay, should be at least two times that of the slack side of the belt. And the input shaft has a speed of 30, uh, 350 RPM. So that one's going to remain constant and then the output shaft up here that one should be able to run at 950 all the way down to 150 rpm so each one is going to have a different speed depending on the position of the belt okay so um, let's go on we have the weight this is a thing that we're going to try to minimize okay we're going to try to minimize the weight and the weight is equal to rho, which is the density of the aluminum, times the width, times pi over 4. And then we're going to add up from i equals 1 up to 5 all of the diameters. Okay, and those are going to be the diameters of the output shaft plus the summation from 1 to 5 of all of the the input shaft diameters as well. Okay, so that's going to be our thing that we're going to try to minimize in the end. And we have some constraints that we have to observe so that we don't over tension the belt and we get the correct diameter so that the belt can fit on each of these um, slot or uh, positions as we go okay so we have the belt length required for the desired output speeds so this is determined by this equation so this is going to be the belt length and that's going to be pi di over 2 times 1 plus n o i n n okay plus okay so this is a little bit complicated but one of the things that we're going to do in this is we're going to index these so that it's very easy to write the equations. Okay, you can see I've indexed it by I. Okay, so even though this is a complicated equation, we'll really only need to write it once. And then we can index it uh, by going through a list comprehension. We'll go for I in range five for example okay so you just write it once and then python we can have it run through this loop and create all these equations for us all right 
So as I go down through these, let's go down through the angle of the lap of the belt over the ith pulley. Okay, this is going to be theta i is going to be pi minus, and then we have the arc sine. Arc sine of n o i n n. Okay, minus one. I'm going to put parentheses around those times d i. Okay, divided by 2a. So that is the angle of the lap of the belt over the ith pulley. Now we also have the tension on the tight side. So I'm going to do T1 and then T2. So this is T1i, and we're going to set that equal to S times T times the width. Okay. So the T2, okay, T2i is going to be equal to T1i divided by e to the mu theta i. Okay, this is getting a little bit more complicated. We have quite a few equations here. We can't just minimize that. It's going to go to zero if we just try to minimize it without the constraints. So these are constraints on each of these. The other constraint that we have is that C1 equals C2, okay, and equals C3, equals C4, equals C5. Okay, so all the belt lengths have to be equal. Now the constraint on the power transmitted, all right, that's going to be T1i minus T2i, and then pi d in i, uh, times 350 divided by 33,000 has to be greater than or equal to 0 0.65. Okay, so that's the power transmitted. Now the, okay, so that's the horsepower that we needed. And then we have a constraint on the tension ratio. And that is given by E to the mu theta i has to be greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so that was quite a few equations. I'm going to make these kind of small over here just so we can see them all as we develop our optimization model. All right, so here's our optimization model. We'll just go ahead and start with Gecko. Make sure you pip install Gecko if you don't have it. And then we're going to have some constants. There's pi, the distance between the two and the density of the aluminum. There's our mu value, there's 0 0.8. Okay, that is was the uh, coefficient of friction. There's our stress, and T is the in feet. Okay, we also have variables. These are the things that we're gonna use to optimize. We have the width, it has to be between 0 0.01 and 0.5. Just put some bounds on it. If it hits one of those bounds, you might want to relax it or make that wider. Also, I have the diameter, or sorry, the uh, diameter of, that we're going to use to optimize. Okay, so there's uh, the speed for the output shaft and then the speed for the input shaft in terms of RPM. And then I'll have the weight as well. Okay, let's create some intermediates. So these are calculations that are pieces of this big set of equations. We're going to try to simplify some of our model by defining some of these intermediates. So let's do the diameter for the i-th step of the input pulley. So that's going to be, I'll just try to mark some of these as we go through it. Okay, so this first one. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Okay. I have diameter, okay, times NO divided by NN. And I'm just looking for, I don't see it offhand. Um, okay, that's our diameter in. Okay. Um, but that's going to be calculated from 
Uh, it's one of these equations that I'm rearranging. I'm not seeing it right now, but I, I think it's um, in our set. Maybe I just didn't write it down. Okay, we also have the intermediate for the objective function. What I'm going to do is the summation of these values right here. So just including two at a time as I go through it. Okay, the belt lengths, here's our C values. And this one's a little bit longer of an expression, but that's this one right here. Okay, I'm going to move this off to the side a little bit just so it doesn't okay, keep disappearing every time I select that. Okay, and I'm going to do that for I in range 5. So I'm going to go through it five times building that um, to get C0 through C4 because in Python we index by zeros. Then we have the angles of the lap of the belt over the ith pulley. Okay, so here's our arc sign. So that's going to be this one right here. All right, and then let's keep going. We have the tension on the tight side of the ith step. So that's this one. All right, and then we have the tension on the slack side of the ith step. So there's this equation right here. All right, we have uh, weight from our objective function. I'm just going to add up so a summation of all of those other intermediate values right here, the sum of squared uh, values of the diameter, and then I multiply it by the uh, density, rho times w, um, and then pi divided by 4. Okay, so I have some additional constraints. All of those c values have to be equal to each other right here. And then I also have a tension ratio. Okay, that has to be greater than or equal to 2. So you can see on each of these, I'm either defining four equations or I'm defining five equations. Okay, in this case, it's just the weight. That's one equation right there. Okay, and the power transmitted, the final one that we were tracking here. Here's our final equation. All right, and that has to be greater than or equal to 0 0.65 for the total horsepower that's transmitted. Now we have our objective, and then we'll solve this. We want to minimize the weight, and we'll by default it's I mode 3 already. You can leave that out. Solver, I'm going to change it to the AP opt solver for this one, and then solve it. And I'll print the optimal weight, the optimal diameter, and then the width. So all three of those. So I'll go ahead and open this up just with a command prompt. And if you don't have Gecko, make sure you pip install Gecko. Now this one's already satisfied, so I'll go ahead and just change directory to where I have pulley saved. Okay, so it solved it. You can see the optimal weight and the optimal diameters of each of the, um, the these pulley diameters. And then you can also have the width of the belt. So it was able to optimize it. There's our total objective, which is the weight. And you can see it solved it in five iterations. Now, you see here degrees of freedom is minus 8. That one isn't really a concern because we have so many of these inequality constraints. If each of those were active, then we would be over-specified. But in this case, we're not because there's sufficient of those that are not active or at the constraint so that we give additional degrees of freedom to be able to minimize the weight. Okay, well that's it for this uh, problem. I'll put a link to all of the equations okay, that are here in the design optimization course. And we're also going over some additional case studies here. So this one is a step comb pulley. Next one's beam column, crane hook, rocket launch, and others. And it shows how to set up and solve these types of optimization problems 
with Python.